In this little demonstration, I'm going to use Hexagon and ZBrush. And we're going to be using a Adobe Illustrated file. So we're going to do the file import. And it's going to be the AI file. Okay. I believe this will only take Adobe Illustrated 3.0. And some of these come in with some extra lines in here. And we're just going to delete these. Sometimes they'll be duplicated. We'll delete that one. And I believe there's one over this one here. And we're going to delete it. And we're going to select this one here. Um, we may need to use this uh, sweep surface if it don't work right. I'm just going to hold the control key and just drag it up. And then I'm going to delete the extra curve that it made left behind here. I'm going to select this, then I'm going to close it, I'm going to close all of it, and for this to work in ZBrush, I'm going to go over to Utilities, and I'm going to decimate it, and I'm going to kick the level all the way up to keep, keep the uh, detail. I'm going to export this as an OBJ, I'm going to just overwrite this one here. And we're going to open up the ZBrush. I'm going to just go ahead and select a Polymesh 3D Star here. I normally usually do that anyway when I do the import. Then I'm going to go find that mesh and load it up. And we're going to drag it in here. And if we look at the wireframe here, it's, you know, all triangulated and it's it's going to be pretty much impossible to work with, especially if we subdivide it. We get this right here. Just control Z that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the uh, Dynamesh here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the project down here so we keep the detail. And I'm going to have to kick up the resolution quite a bit. And I'm going to Dynamesh this. And I am going to pause the video until this is finished. Now that it's finished, we'll turn on the polyframes, and it's pretty dense mesh, and but it's not all triangulated. triangulated. Uh, the edges are just a little bit rough if you zoom way in, but it's not bad when you zoom back out. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and uh, bring this back and turn it to the side here. The reason why it's uh, getting really lumpy around the edges because it really has no edge flow around here. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do one side with a clipping brush. We select here and we're going to use this uh, clip curve. I'm going to draw me a line. I'm just going to do one side. Hold the space bar to bring it over just a little bit. Then if we look at the front side here, it pushed the it pushed the uh, polygons back and it bunched up the edges here. So this is going to be pretty nice. I only did it on one side and on the back side. So we're going to take a comparison here and we're going to use the uh, deformation and polish crisp edge. We'll just kick this up a little bit and you can see there it looks pretty good. There's the front side that I did now with a clipping brush and the back side got real more rounded. Um, it depends what you really want. Do you want this look here or do you want this look here? Alright, let's go ahead and flip this around here. Go to shift key to snap it. Then we're going to do a quick render here. Just change to a different material. Then you get something like this. Um, now this is now I can edit this uh, mesh any way I want with any of these brushes if I want to. And it's you know it's got a lot of polygons and they're all kind of distributed out. So if I wanted to use any kind of brush, let's say. Let's go with the standard 
Yeah, let's just choose uh, let's just choose that alpha there. Now if I drag out, you can see what it's doing there. One more render. And that's what you get. And thank you very much.